the nightingale is awake, the dawn of promoting health through beauty has evolved. It has been a year and the Agu Pageant Hub, in collaboration with Adanta Dreams, have put in great effort to provide students, nurses and midwives a platform to air their views affecting society, precisely in the health aspect. Miss NTC Ghana is a beauty pageant that is dedicated in promoting health, true beauty and splendor. Miss NTC Ghana is a beauty pageant that is solely for the nursing and midwifery trainee students. Our sole aim is to promote the positive image and the nobility of the nursing and midwifery trainees and its profession. We are dedicated in bridging the gap between beauty and health. Miss and MTC Ghana is organized by iGroom Pageants Hub and Mandante Dreams in collaboration with the Ghana Nurse Midwife Trainees Association. The quest is to look out for young, ambitious ladies in the nursing and midwifery fraternity who are willing to make a positive impact in their institutions, communities and in Ghana as a whole. This pageant seeks to scout for ladies who are beautiful, bold, intelligent and are willing to take up projects that seeks to intervene, prevent and promote health. With Miss NMTC Ghana, we provide a necessary platform for the trainees to contribute to community institutional development through proper promotion and education of good health and well-being. Again, we seek to empower the trainees to be motivated enough to create change in their communities otherwise known as agents of change. But this time around, not just talking about change, but to be able to conceptualize and execute a well-laid plan of action for it to come into reality. This is evident by the various projects that they are undertaking in their communities. The pageantry has helped these young ladies to find their strengths and weaknesses and to outgrow them. The Miss NMTC pageantry for the past year has felt the charisma and heard the voices of over 100 ladies who are all very passionate about the purpose of this pageantry. Each contestant testified that the pageantry is a life-changing experience. My name is Mabel Duma Ampansa. I graduate from the Asante Mampo Nursing and Midwifery Training College. I am a midwife and a second runner-up of the Miss NMTC Ghana 2021. I got inspired to join Miss NMTC because I believe it's a pageant that deals with health and Miss NMTC Ghana was actually going to help me to um, go on a project called um, family planning and this is to help the young adults who are getting pregnant on a daily basis and becoming school dropouts. It's so sad. So it's something that I sat down, thought about it critically and I decided no, I must go into this pageant to help solve this problem because the Miss NMTC Ghana is going to give me that platform to do that. My name is Priscilla Ando. I am the winner of Miss NMTC Ghana 2021. I am a student midwife of Tafa NMTC. I was inspired to be part of Miss NMTC Ghana because I shared the common goal with them, which was promoting health through beauty. As a student midwife, I personally also have interest in makeup, fashion, and other entertaining factors. That is why I picked the form to be part of last year's Miss NMCC Ghana. My name is Blessing Ampofo, the first runner-up of Miss NMTC Ghana 2021, and currently I am a student of the Presbyterian Nursing and Midwifery Training College, Agogo. What inspired me to join Miss NMTC Ghana was the fact that I've always dreamt on becoming a beauty queen, not just any queen, but a queen with a purpose and I saw this as an opportunity to develop my self-confidence, my poise, and well, I must confess that the crown was also a factor, and I saw Miss NMTC Ghana to be a platform which would help me 
publicize and also execute my project that is promoting the health of prisoners. My name is Kuka Cindy, a nurse and a past student of Katekwachi NMTC and currently the reigning queen of Miss Republic Ghana 2021. My name is Grace Anima Martin, a student midwife of the Presbyterian Nursing and Midwifery Training College, Agogo. I am currently the reigning queen for Miss Emerald Ghana. It all began when I took part in Miss NMTC Ghana. With all the performances and enthusiasm I put in and the effort I put in, I was able to win the title as Miss Emerald Ghana to represent Ghana in Colombia. Well, this really shows that Miss and MTZ is full of opportunities. Even though I could not win the ultimate um, title as the winner, but then I was able to win the title as Miss Emerald Ghana. I'm in the person of Ousu Abigail, a student nurse of NMTC for Praso and a finalist of Miss and MTC Ghana 2021. I am Mentor Precious, a nurse and a former student of Formina Adanse Nursing and Midwifery Training College, and I'm currently Miss Ecotourism World Ghana 2022. Miss Ecotourism World 2022 is an international pageant held in South Africa. And I became Miss Ecotourism World Ghana 2022 after I was part of the 10 finalists of Miss NMTC Ghana 2021. On the day of the grand finale, everything was heated up. Everyone was so prepared and ready to take up the crown. And it was finally time for us to showcase our true beauty and talent on that stage. My experience at the grand finale was something else. Actually, when I got up in the morning, I had butterflies in my tummy and it was just something else. I wasn't scared um, the day before the grand finale, but on that day, I was kind of scared a little bit. And we moved on to the place where we were going to have the grand finale. and. One thing I can say I really enjoyed was having my people there to cheer me up. My classmates, the family, they were all there to support me. And one thing I also don't want to forget and I can't forget was the show I had. That is my talent. I really, really worked hard on that talent and I delivered, thank God. And I became the Miss Talent on that day. I had a great experience at the grand finale. I was quite expectant but a little nervous and it even got to a time and people thought I wouldn't make it to the top five but by the grace of God I was able to make it to the top five and then to the top three and finally here I am as the first runner up of Miss NMT Ghana 2021. The feeling after becoming the second runner up for Miss NMT Ghana has been fabulous, I would say. It has been fantastic and when I go out there I get the reverence. I'm being given the reverence that okay yes this is the Miss NMTC Ghana 2021 second runner up and my friends too like to you know go out with me because a queen is in the house so it has been it has been fantastic because I've been given a certain kind of respect that I wasn't having before Being part of Miss NMTC Ghana 2021 has taught me how to be tolerant especially living in the house with this, all these beautiful ladies and we all have our differences. Seeing each other every day and having misunderstanding but having the patience to tolerate everyone is something I've learned from the house and I'm keeping for life. And also I've made great friends and I can call them family now. And also we have a great bond and the ladies were lovely and it was so fun being in the house. 
I went on a fully sponsored trip to Dubai and I got the chance to visit the Desert Safari, Miracle Gardens, Global Village and many more exciting places in Dubai by courtesy of Careful Traveling and Tour. During my journey through Mess and MTC, a lot was learned and I learned that as an individual, you need to be yourself in everything. You should be bold, you should be confident, and always you should keep your head high. And notwithstanding the fact that we should always work above and out our comfort zone because in this world, nothing is achieved on a silver platter. And the God factor, and during our morning devotions, I learned that in everything, God first, and if you should exempt God in anything you do in this world, it wouldn't go as planned. Ms. and MTC has groomed me to be more focused and know what I am about. It has also taught me to not listen to the many voices that surround whatever I would want to do. Because if you should give ears to whatever you would want to do, you would never take a step. And socially, it has groomed my way of communicating and associating with others. Ms. and MTC Ghana has given me the platform to be more influential and impactful in the lives of others. So after Ms. and MTC Ghana, I was able to launch my project, which is promoting the girl child health education. Um, I did this project on the 5th of March, 2022. I did it for the three senior high schools within the municipality of Asante Achimagogo North, namely Owariman Senior High School, Collins Senior High School, and then Agogo State College. I must say it was an amazing experience. We had um, the leaders or authorities of the, the land coming to talk to the students, the Queen Mother, the DC, and then this program was done in collaboration with Ghana Education Service and then Royal Aid Foundation. We were able to talk to the students about their reproductive health. You know, some of these issues that concern their reproductive health, such as um, breast cancer, um, cervical cancer, teenage pregnancy, we can also talk about STIs, I mean the sexually transmitted infections. So we were able to educate them about problems of these, how these um, reproductive health issues come about and then how to treat or kill them. And also we were able to conduct a breast cancer screening for these students. I must say that Ms. and MTC Ghana has really brought about great improvement upon my life and then also impacting that positivity in, into other people's lives. After winning this pageant, it hasn't been easy, but so far so good because I am a student and I have to combine the academic activities with the pageantry activities, executing my project. But this has also led me into many opportunities. Currently, I am the National Secretary for the Ghana Nest Midwife Trainee Association. After I was given the crown as a second runner-up, there was this one thing that I did that was so fantastic and I can't forget that. And that was when I got the opportunity to educate people in the commercial bars, popularly known as Trotro. Giving people the education on family planning because somebody made a comment and the person was like, hey, all these family planning, they are not good though, they, they, like, they were just saying a lot, mis, um, they, they were actually saying some misconceptions about family planning. And I wasn't feeling comfortable in the bus because I, um, I am a midwife and I won't sit down there for people to just say negative things about family planning. So I took this opportunity to let the woman know that, no, this and this is how the whole issue is or this and that is how family planning is you go there they check the they take your history and then they know the kind of family planning to give you or to indulge you in and after that education the women were like 
Oh, nice. Oh, thank you, mommy. Why are dear? Now you name we you now. But you know, not everybody is going to believe what you've said. But at least I got a lot of people to understand the better part or the advantageous part of um, family planning. And from that encounter, I decided to make it a habit to go into the commercial buses and educate them about family planning. So I will be launching a project that is geared at the SHS students and the young adults or the adolescents in order to educate them on the importance and the good of family planning. And that is basically on abstinence for the young adults or the adolescents. And if they can't go with the abstinence, I educate them on the other methods because we are just trying to prevent them from getting pregnant and becoming school dropouts. During my reign, I've been able to educate people and create awareness on sickle cell disease, which is my project at the various hospitals that I've visited. And also, I'm working on visiting senior high schools and creating more awareness on sickle cell disease. The pageantry has impacted the ladies in diverse ways. Parents and guardians of the queens could even confirm. Pachami ni eja owo eni man kwis wanting. I mean, your friend me menu harassing. Um, it's a tough one for me. The entire member bano eko joining says, "Se mbeti ni suna se emaya no e ya na e yeme fe." Entire member bano eko joining ebino. Abra osha se se eko joining no. My name is Mrs. Philomena Mensa. I allowed my daughter to partake in this pageantry because since childhood, I saw her to be a great person. And when the time came for her to start showing this, I took it upon myself to guide her and allow her to be in this contest. And so far, I've seen a great improvement in her style, her lifestyle. She has become a better lady and I like the way she's growing. And I know she's going to fulfill whatever God has, plan God has for her. It's the time of the year again, where vibrant, beautiful, intelligent, eloquent, and smart ladies who are highly endowed in the field of health, precisely in the nursing and midwifery sectors of various tertiary institutions, step up to compete for an enviable crown. The premier edition was massive, but this year it promises to be bigger, better and more adventurous. The beautiful ladies are ready to take up health tax and promote health through their beauty and voice. I'm the person of Elijah Mkweje the immediate past national president of the Ghana Nest Midwife Chinese Association, properly known as JEMTA. JEMTA has been in existence for 33 years now, of which we've been manning the interests of training nest midwife across the length and breadth of our dear country, Ghana. Now, what we seek to do is to fight for the interests of our members, champion their cause, and of course, spearhead changes in every facet that has to do with their interests. Now, JEMTA is solely poised on these aforementioned factors that I've talked about. But then, we saw it prudent to venture into pageantry. And someone will ask, why pageantry? I believe it's ordinarily 
we are focused on studies, we are focused on academics, which sometimes tend to be boring. So we try as much as possible to reach out or partner with Mr. MTC Ghana, not only to focus on the fun aspect of it, but also to unearth the potentials in these training nurse midwives that we do know. Going forward, I would say that at first I wasn't really privy to what pageantry was about. And in a nutshell, I would say that it was a complete waste of time. But because of my in-depth conversations with the executive board, because of my experience, would humbly want to implore the Ghanaian citizenry out there that let's try to get people on board. Let's deal with the sensitization. Let's try to make them understand that pageantry is not only about the glam, the glamour, the cameras and the lights, but also it tends to bring out the potentials in our DNS training midwife, which goes a long way in nation development. It is that time where beautiful women of integrity are chosen from the various NMTCs to promote health, true beauty, and splendor. Nursing and midwifery goes beyond just taking care of patients in the world. Miss NMTC Ghana is giving students a window of opportunities such as self-discipline, self-confidence, self-esteem, determination, and it improves better standard education. It opens doors for social networking and then it gives the ladies a chance to be better advocates. There is respect in the crown and the sage and it gives glory to the family. The health projects they embark on contribute as a development to the country. 2021 was memorable. This year promises to be bigger and better. People seem to talk more about pageantry, but what I always tell them is pageantry is a platform of showcasing intelligence, diversity, women empowerment and leadership. So I always tell all young ladies to be part of pageantry because it will build your confidence, it will give you the platform you never got and with pageantry you seem to bring out the best in you. I will recommend Miss NMTC Ghana to all young midwives and nurses coming up to be part of because it will give you the platform to promote health through beauty. Miss NMTC Ghana 2022 will still be held in Kumasi as we did in 2021. We are starting this year with a call for ambassadors which was slated on the 14th to 20th of March. On the 4th of April, we are opening nomination to all nurses and midwifery trainees to pick up forms. If you believe in yourself, you trust that you are beautiful, you can stand and promote health to beauty, then there is opportunity for you. On the 4th of April to the 24th of April, there is a period to pick up your forms, which will be an online registration at www.hsaghana.org. On the 30th of April, audition will be held in Kumase. An unveiling of the 30 contestants will be on the 4th of May. And that is the day that the entire pageantry will begin. We're going to start with an online tax which is going to take a span of five weeks. We will have a 10 days beauty campaign and grooming session for all the ladies that would not be evicted during the online tax. And I can promise you that at the end of the 10 days training or the 10 days grooming, you're going to have the better version of yourself. On the 17th of June, you have our grand finale. It's a day for the crown. It's a day to know the best among you all. Miss NMTC had its maiden edition in the year 2021, and it was great and unforgettable event. But I can assure you, this year, 2022, is going to be massive. These are the requirements. If you want to pick a form to contest as Miss NMTC Ghana, you might be a student nurse or midwife, or intern, I mean those doing their national service, from any accredited nursing institution in the country, you qualify to pick up a form. You shouldn't be a winner of your school's pageantry before you can pick up a form. Any student 
no matter your level, being in first year, second year, or your final year, you can go ahead and pick up your forms. There's no height or body specification. This is the time for you to pick up your forms now to achieve your dreams. Colleagues of the most noble profession, my name is Philip Oseibonsu, a proud student of NMTC Kumase and also an ambassador for Miss NMTC Ghana. I'm urging nursing and midwifery trainees to grab their form as soon as possible because, as it is said in Akan dialect, a program kume gun sheni and a titi kumakodui never so abribie. This proverb begs explain how nurses and midwives can promote health through beauty. To every young individual out there who would want to join pageantry, I recommend Miss NMTC because Miss NMTC Ghana set for you the numerous platforms to execute whatever you have to do to impact life, grant you other life opportunities and groom you as a person or a young lady in general. Hence, if, if you know you are enthused about bridging the gap between beauty and health, most especially health, propagating more about health, I recommend Miss NMTC Ghana for you. Seek no other place than Miss NMTC Ghana because Miss NMTC Ghana has really given me the opportunity to be able to do this and then do it more. I want to encourage you that as Miss NMTC is now in line, it is a great opportunity for you to pick a form. Join Miss NMTC Ghana. This will give you a bigger platform to execute all your plans your passion and your intentions to promote health, true beauty and splendor. So I urge every trainee, nurse and midwife out there who want to be part of a pageantry to look no further than Miss NMTC Ghana 2022. Because even if you don't win this ultimate prize, there are better opportunities out here for you to let you go far to and be able to embark on every projector you'd want to. To every other young lady out there, who is so passionate about beauty pageants as I am, I want you to know that keep pushing and work hard and know that the sky is not the limit, it's just a starting point. To every young lady out there, you should set goals. After setting goals, you should be determined to achieve your goals. You should bear in mind that through your journey, there would be challenges, but once you are very determined, everything will be okay. And to every nurse midwife trainee out there who want to venture into pageantry, I would commend Miss NMTC Ghana to her because it aims at promoting health through beauty. I would recommend Miss NMTC Ghana to my colleagues because I believe is going to make them a better version of themselves and also help them execute a health-based project. Miss NMTC is an ideal pageant I entreat all nurses and midwifery trainees to uphold. I encourage all nurses, midwives, trainees in this country who have the talent, beauty, ready to learn the confident self-esteem and want to have a better version of themselves to join this year's edition of Miss NMTC Ghana.